What's going on, YouTube? You want to make a YouTube channel, but don't think you can? Great, because you're back with Chains, and I'm going to show you some stuff that you need to get started on YouTube. Because no one showed me any of this stuff when I started, so I thought maybe I should help the people who are after me, who also want to get started. Because, believe it or not, some of the stuff is easier to come by than you'd think. Now, most of the complex stuff already has tutorials like using Photoshop and editing on Adobe Premiere or uh, Sony Vegas. But today we'll be learning the simple stuff, just, you know, to help you get off the ground a little easier. Because, you know, blunt forcing it is uh, really hard. Like I did. Good times. To start off, know what you want to do. Now this seems obvious, but knowing what you want to do should also come with knowing what goes into doing what you want to do. Realize that every form of content that gets uploaded onto this site has different forms and amounts of effort that need to be put in, along with your own personal preferences as to how much effort you want to put in. All videos need to be recorded, edited, and uploaded, but those vary based on what kind of content you want to do. Now with a broad stroke of the brush, there are two major styles of videos on this site. Scripted and non-scripted. Simple, really. Scripted stuff typically includes animation, skits, media reviews, uh, news stuff, anything sort of like that that needs to be succinct and brought down to a level of, hey, you can't just do this off the cuff. While non-scripted stuff or things that are done off the cuff are include vlogs, let's plays, and reaction videos. Ah, uh, reaction videos. The trash of the internet. Not really, they're fine. Scripted content needs to be scripted. This video is scripted, because if I'm not scripting it, guess what? I will be rambling for hours on end. And no one wants that. And if you're making an animation, forget about it. You'll probably be lucky to get one of those out a month. And that's if you're real gung-ho about it. Non-scripted content is easier in the sense that you don't have to put time into scripting it, but they're more difficult in that you have to keep yourself talking for a very long time, depending on how long you're recording for. Don't even think about leaving a few moments of dead air, because you'll lose people at that point. One piece of advice that does apply to both forms of content is that your personality needs to come first. And I'm not talking about you as a broad term, I'm talking about you. You watching this video right now. I can't see you, but you can see me, and what I'm trying to say is that your personality is very, very important. Because what I've noticed while perusing the YouTubes is that while people do gravitate to certain types of content, what makes them subscribe and come back again and again and again is more often the personality of the creator themselves. You think I sub to all these Let's Plays because I think they're funny and good at video games? Because they're not! <laughs> For the most part, I hit the sub button because I love the creator of the projects. People like the big three, Jack, Mark, Felix, they're typically average at games. They've said so themselves. But when they address the viewers directly, they are completely sincere. But their names alone, at least nowadays, just get views on their names alone. But believe me when I say, people don't typically subscribe to people whose personalities they hate. At least I hope so. Now you know what you want to do, and you're thinking to yourself, hmm, how do I go about making it? As far as scripted content goes, that's up to you. That should be done in your voice and in a way that you find pleasing. Just realize that you should probably find people who are making similar content, who've done it longer than you, and learn from them. See what you can take away from what they're already creating, and how you can mold it to make it your own brand. I'm not saying copy other people, but what I'm saying is that often, Looking at your heroes or people who make similar content, you can improve upon yourself. Don't think you're good from the get-go. It's a lot of learning, and the cur learning curve on YouTube is exceptionally high. But the stuff after that, I can gladly help you with. Particularly with software and hardware. First and foremost, you're gonna need to record some shit, so you'll need a camera and some sort of other audio device. Cause you know, recording visuals and audio separately can often help the editing process and improve the quality of your videos. It took me a long time to learn that. But once you get it, it's pro it'll help a lot, believe me. Now, you most YouTubers have said this, and I'm gonna say it too, but a phone camera is honestly good enough to get started. Believe it or not, this video is recorded on my phone camera. The front-facing one, which is the lower quality one. And it works. It works just fine. So, yeah, just saying. This is good enough. Just realize that phones have really small memory and will often stop recording when they hit that memory limit, so realize when the phone needs to stop and reset the recording. Believe me. It sucks when the video has to stop on its own because there's like a two second gap in between of no film. I've had to deal with that in the past. It sucks. 
Now back to the comment of a separate audio device. That was more in particular for let's plays like what I do, but when it comes to recording skits and going outside to film that stuff, a boom mic and everything that's needed to make it run is kind of expensive. Very expensive. D don't. <laughs> You can probably rely on the camera's mic for things going outside, but for things sitting down like vlogs or let's plays, a headset mic works just as well. Even your laptop mic works. My first videos I ever made used this laptop's microphone. They sucked and I didn't separate the audio in the video, but hey, it worked. My first ever video on this channel was the 30 minutes of me awkwardly talking over Danganronpa and look where I am now. Still here. Moving on. Anyway, card if you want to watch that. Now that you have all your equipment ready to go, you're gonna need some software to properly run that shit, ain't ya? <laughs> now for audio editing, for the longest time I used the program Audacity, which, by the way, has the audacity to be free. Joking aside, this program is simple and easy to use, and there's a shit ton of tutorials on YouTube to help you out. I would like to say that I know enough about audio to make my own tutorials, but I don't. So please don't ask. Please. One thing I do gotta say though about audio editing, normalize your audio. Just do that. At the very least, do that. It makes your audio sound a shit ton better. Normalize it. It's, it's, in, it's in the effects thing column, I think, on Audacity. I don't remember, it's been a while since I used it. Now before I go into video editing software, I would like to give a short tutorial on proper microphone etiquette because it took me a real long time to learn this. When using a headset mic, you want the mic to be in front of your mouth and slightly below it, like somewhere between your chin and your bottom lip. Feel free to experiment with this, because for me, my prime thing was here, but this is mostly to prevent you from clipping the mic or breathing on it. Because believe me, when you hear that on yourself, it's 10 times more annoying than when you hear someone else do it. Now, if you're using an external mic, like a blue snowball or a blue yeti, you point the mic towards your face and elevate it to about mouth level. If you can't, just make sure it's pointing at your face. Also, I suggest putting it at the cardioid setting, which is best for vocals from one person in one direction. Remember to speak loud and clear, because sometimes normal speaking voice just isn't enough. Because let me be frank, this is my normal speaking voice. I'm not always talking in a uh, super energetic way. Uh, it depends on who I'm around, but um, like this is my normal speaking voice, and it's significantly quieter than my uh, stage voice. I, I know this for a fact. Now then, we're going to video, the actual stuff that's on screen. When it comes to this, software is really, really hard to come by. Thankfully, there's a good amount of free software out there. If you're doing gaming content or just need to capture your computer screen for a bit, I heavily suggest open broadcast software or OBS as it's more widely known. OBS is a fair bit more complicated than Audacity, but once again, there's a good amount of tutorials that you can find to help you out. And believe me, those tutorials would do a lot better job at explaining it than I could. Cause I barely know shit. Word to the wise though, if you're using an external mic, make sure you turn off OBS's external mic audio setting or it will fuck shit up. Believe me, it makes editing a shit ton easier if when you're capturing your screen, that it doesn't use an external mic. It helps so much or else you're gonna double your vocals. Now, for editing software. <sighs> Let me be honest and say, that I'm not a big fan of the actual editing process. It can be long, tedious, and you have to listen to yourself prattle on for fucking hours. You get used to it. Now there are a shit ton of free offer- oh. Now there is a shit ton of free software that I- mm. Now there's a shit ton of free software that I could probably list off, but the two that I'll be mainly focusing on are Windows Movie Maker and iMovie. Yay! Movie Maker may or may not come with your PC, but you can probably download it. I know I did. And I think iMovie comes with every Mac, but I'm not sure. Never owned one. Allow me to give you a quick tutorial on Movie Maker, because let me just say that teaching it to myself was frustrating, mostly because a lot of it is really simple. And learning it after the fact of posting a few videos is completely heartbreaking. So heartbreaking. To get started, like, um, let's say like, you have to import like some of your clips of the whatever you're gonna use. So basically, you have to go to add video, add photo, pick what you're gonna do, which I've already done. And unfortunately, this uh, this program only allows like um, one audio track, which I mainly use for uh, 
uh, a voiceover or like uh, my commentary. So that's that. So if you're gonna do vlogs and you're gonna use Movie Maker, unfortunately, background music might have to come. Uh, like you might have to like legitimately render the video first and then render it again, then by adding a uh, music to it, which is unfortunate. Um, so first things first, you have your clip here, and let me just say the pre-processing will take a bit of time. Uh, for this like 30 minute clip, it took about uh, five minutes, and same with the audio, with a little less time. Um, but it's not that bad. Uh, editing is it it's probably gonna be a lot easier. This is actually like some let's play footage that I'm not using at all. Uh, but anyway, um, when it comes to video, like video stuff like that and stuff like that, I always suggest turning on a waveform, which I have to figure out where it is. Yeah, there it is. Go to view and turn on waveform, which is these things right here. Uh, cause knowing the waveform will help you like sync the audio a little bit, or at least know how loud the thing is. Um, I like, but for the video, typically you, you it, will, it will be like lower anyway, cause that's how you should record. Um, but when it comes to recording this thing stuff, I always suggest doing a sync clap, which is this. If I could find it, there it is. Okay, see, see this. I often go syncing, 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 mark, and then I clap, like right there. Um, this will allow you to sync up your audio and your visual a lot easier. Now. Uh, because I've been doing this for so long, I can I know which audio thing on the audio track is um, uh, my clap sound. It's this one right. It's it's oh whoopsie whoopsie dipsy. Uh, it's this one right here. The one thing you want to do is to like to sync up your audio is to find where it is. So it's right around here, and the actual clap is right here. Remember that because this program is not good as far as like syncing up audio. So what you want to do is to go to music tools, go to right at the beginning of the clap as close as you can, and hit the split button. Delete the rest of this because guess what, it's useless to us. And then you wanna drag it to where you think it is. I think it's right around here. Nope, a little more over, that's fine. Uh, right around here. So, it'll be like, so it'll be like, it'll look like this. See? Uh, but anyway, that's, that's how you sync up audio. Now as far as like, ripping out clips, uh, more often than not, um, especially for let's plays and vlogs, you want to skip out. You want to skip out on dead air. I think this is where I start the video, correct? Yep, that's where I started it. So, see how I messed up the intro? You want to go right to where the actual intro is. I think this is it. Yep, that's where it is. That's where it is. Uh, unfortunately, this one has two separate split tools for music and video. So just keep it there. Split and split. Delete the begin. Delete everything else. And you're good to go. Lo and behold, that um, whatever you take out of the video is up to you. Um, typically, especially for Let's Plays, I take out dead air or things that don't add to anything, like when I'm rambling. But, like, to do that is pretty easy too. Pick, pick where you start. I'm picking arbitrary points. Split. Split. And then pick your second point where you want it to end and just do split. Split. It's no big deal. Delete that chunk and then make sure you, these will... will um, clip back together and uh, continue watching. Now I suggest watching through the entire video, cutting where you need to be, but um, this is Windows Movie Maker. You can throw in text, you can throw in do, do all things like that. But um, when it comes to the audio, I always suggest um, lowering the actual game. How do I do that again? Jesus Christ, audio mix. Oh, there it is. Fortunately, you can only like lower, like increase the volume or of the video or the um, audio track. Um, primarily. I always do emphasize music because your commentary should be coming first, at least for Let's Play, but um, if you're doing vlogs and it's just like you like sitting in front of a computer, I would suge suggest emphasizing video and then um, adding your music in later. It's very, it's, it's fairly simple. You could probably do some sick um, transitions. Oh, this is effects. Oh, that's cool. If you want to do like that, I'm not sure if you could do fade-ins. I never did. Oh yeah, you can do like transitions, um, add titles, add captions. I always did that. Um, but when it comes to rendering the thing, go to File, Save Movie, and unfortunately it only renders in quote unquote 1080p, or like recommended, which is probably the project settings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 1280 by 720. I often re render in 1280 by 720, but when it comes to Windows Movie Maker, because I was dumb, I often uh, save the movie as um, 1080p, which was dumb, but it worked. Um, but yeah, those are the basics of this. 
That's Windows Movie Maker for you. I know this was like not the best tutorial, and you can probably find better ones. But in all honesty, things like this, like the basics of the basics, like how to cut the how to cut it, how to manage the audio, all this stuff is probably like stuff that I spent like weeks trying to figure out on my own. But in all honesty, it was just as easy as that. So anyway, thank you guys, and I'm gonna throw this to Nico, who will um, now uh, show us how to use iMovie. Take it away, Nico. I actually change your plans because this video is getting a bit too long. I will leave a separate link in the description box below for Nico's um, tutorial on iMovie. I am intended to put that in, but this video was like getting too long, and I thought I was gonna lose people. Uh, but uh, she felt like posting it to her channel instead of you know letting me just like. Uh, grab it instead. So the link's in the description, and uh, I'll take you guys back to me from the past. Take it away, me. Now, hardware and software are all fine and dandy, but there's one thing that will make or break your channel. Your mentality on how to run said channel. You can be consistent, you can have a great work ethic, but if you're a douche and the only reason you're on this channel is for fame and fortune, believe me when I say that people will see through you pretty quick. I'm not gonna name names, but there are some people out there that have a fairly large following, but once people realize that they're kind of a dick, or that they're doing it for not really good reasons, they kind of just, you know, plateaued. I'm pretty sure you can think of a few names yourself. Let me know that these programs are a bit clunky, Movie Maker a bit more than iMovie, but they get the job done. But let me, let me say this first and foremost, that YouTube, for a majority of people, will probably be a hobby, and most likely will be for a long time. Maybe forever, until they just plain stop. Unfortunately, YouTube becoming a job is all about luck. No joke, the top subscribed YouTubers are people who got really lucky. I could go into how the, their specific stories went, but guess what? Most of us know them already, and yes, it is a game about luck. You're relying on other people to find your channel and say, Hey, I like you, sub. Just focus on doing you and improving your craft as a content creator, finding your brand and all that. And of course, have fun with it. Be creative, be silly, be stupid, just be you. Because at the end of the day, if you're not having fun, you shouldn't be doing this. I have a lot of fun making videos. I have a lot of fun recording games. I have a lot of fun talking about these games. And while editing's annoying, like at the end of the day, when I'm done editing, I'm just like, hey, I'm happy with it. But like again, if you're not enjoying what doing it, just stop. Just just plain stop. And I'm being honest, honest about that. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. And of course, sub to Nico because guess what? She put a lot of effort into making that clip on how to use iMovie and she posts her own content every now and then. So please support my friend. But anyway, you're now exiting the Shadyverse. My name is Shades and I hope you've enjoyed your day in the shade. See you guys tomorrow.